Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, I am trapped in my man shed, which is why I'm pouring sweat, uh, because we are having the house and lawn treated. Uh, the just the fleas are bad this year, so we had to get them all wiped out. So I and all the pets are hanging out of here doing some cleaning, and we decided to check in with our good friend uh, Animal Crossing. So I don't think I've turned this on in nine months or so. So we're going to see how badly everybody yells at me and see how far I was, because I don't think I was very far in this. Alright, let's get into town and see what trouble we can get up to. I haven't played this in such a long time. And my town's name is Ryan. <laughs> Alright, that's funny. Yep, that's me. Now, I, the whole reason that I'm... That the town's name is Ryan is for that payoff. I'm getting Ryan ready for you. Ryan's one of our friends. Uh, friend of the family, local here. He's also my, one of my uh, son's godparents. Thank you for waiting. I hope you enjoy your time in Ryan. <laughs> That's the whole reason we named the town that. Just for that one joke. Oh, look, I've got mail. Imagine that. I've been gone for a while. Oh, and actually quite a bit of it. Let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, these are all going to be from the museum. Uh, for those of you who haven't played the old one, you actually had to mail fossils off, and then they would get mailed back to you a day later, identified, because uh, the guy in the museum hadn't passed the qualification yet. Then you had to throw the letters away. We also got a letter from the Happy Room Academy, which lets me know that my room sucks. And a letter from Mom, who is uh, reading old love letters. Thanks, Mom. Uh, let's go see what we can find, though. We've got the map, we've got people around. That makes me dig. Like I said, haven't played this in a long time. As you'll notice by the weeds that are everywhere. Oh, there's an inhabitant. Camel frog. That's... Ten hut. <laughs> 28 months. <laughs> yeah, it's been a really long time since I've played this. <laughs> so these people are noticeably upset. <laughs> uh, going crazy. Oh, 4th of July is coming up. That's right. Which 4th of July just passed, actually, but my... It's just, I don't know what's going on with it, but the, the timing is all off. Alright, what does he want? Want to spruce it up a bit. Ingrates, ignoramuses, what am I supposed to do? I mean, do I plant flowers? A manly guy like me is supposed to know how to do something like that? Okay, so he wants us to plant flowers. Alright, well. Sorry, digging holes. Alright, oh! There's a little thing. And I got a fossil. You can dig up various different things in your home. I can't wait to get the new Animal Crossing on 3DS. Then again, I don't have a 3DS, so everything is... I would technically have to borrow one of my sons. Oh, Tom Nook. How many people have plotted your death? Anyways, we're here for flowers. And of course, I can't remember how to steer, so I keep talking to him. Alright, one... I don't remember how many flowers he wants. I mean, he said he just wanted flowers, so I would guess that two would be enough? Duh, I'm out of room in my inventory. Alright, well, let's clear a few things more out. I'll sell off some of the stuff that I got, and then we'll grab the 
other bag of flowers and we'll be good. There we go, flowers! Now that I can actually buy them. Alright. Let's get out of here. Bye, Tom. And I found the the dump on the way back. The dump is actually really cool, is that stuff will just randomly show up there somewhere. Of course, now that I bought the flowers again, my pockets are full. So I have to just kind of leave that there. Let's go back to see some other people. Pulling weeds, I stumbled across uh, this duck guy. Weber. Of course it's Weber. Why not? Qua? I think it used to be Quack, but my son started messing with it. Of course, he had no work for us. Uh, oh, look. It's my house. Let's go clean out my house while we're on the way. So whenever you're gone for too long, cockroaches show up. And you have to crush them. And then if you watch closely, you'll see their tiny souls escape. And then, but, that's not all of them. Ah, oh, there they are. And I found this trick is that you can just keep moving it back and forth and crush them. Until they're done. And then there'll only be two left. But I won't bore you with all this. Alright, we are back at Camo Frog's house. We are going to plant some flowers. There's the nice red tulips, and then we've got some purple something or others. Purple pansies. There we go. Alright. Flowers planted. If I remember right, there's something weird about this, because I never got it to work. Yeah, he's still got gimme work. So he's going to babble on about how much he wants uh, flowers. Uh, Tin Hut. I do love the music in his house, though. He's just rocking the jams. All right, so let's go back to Tom Nooks. Welcome. Do come in. Have a look around. Feel free to browse. Try not to carouse. Yada yada yada. I'll grab some white tulips this time. Let's see if this helps. Alright, so we got white tulips. Let's go back. Let's plant those. And let's go talk to Camo Frog again. I gotta say, the naming conventions of the characters, they actually did really good, and a lot of them are weird little puns. Or they just tell you what the character is, such as Camo Frog. He's a frog covered in camouflage. Pretty self-explanatory. Kind of like RoboCop. I think it's on that level of ease. Oh, a rock. Uh, Alright, so there are... rocks that have money under them. And you have to hit them, and the more times you hit them in a certain length of time, the more money pops out. Think of it kind of like the, the coin block from Mario. Sadly, this isn't one of them. The reason I dug those holes around me is because every time you hit the rock, you go back a little bit. Alright. Oh, somebody new. Oh, and a shiny spot. So this is Daisy. Where on earth have I been? Yeah, once again, 28 months is a little bit long for these people. Oh, she actually has work for me, though. I have to deliver some clothes to Tutu. A lot of this game was always that. was just doing favors for these people. Occasionally it would be odd because it would be just like in an MMO where it would be like, Hey, can you give this to that person over there? Well, why don't you just walk over there? Now the shiny spots, if I actually had another shovel, you could bury the shovel in the shiny spot. And then it would make another... It would uh, eventually grow a tree, and then you could shake the tree and get a golden shovel, or something like that. I don't remember. 
But this is Biddy. She's the one that led us into the town. And she's going to give us a tip. Bit of a tizzy. Alright, digging a hole. Accidentally hit a rock with my shovel. And you can't believe what happened next. What happened next is the thing I just described to you. But she's not going to tell me. Because she wants you to do it. Go try it on your own. But, oh! It's Tutu! Which looks like a very angry polar bear. Oh, because the shirt she's wearing. Well, we're bringing her a new one. And she calls everybody Twinkles. I love that you can change that in the game, by the way. Later on down the road. Uh, if uh, you talk to an animal enough, they'll say, You know what? I feel bored calling everybody Twinkles. What else should I say? And then they'll start calling people different things. Alright, so she... She likes this. Ah, oh. And now I hooked up my Game Boy Advance just for this. Because I love the Cap'n. He is awesome. And I hate the fact that he got relegated to driving a bus in the second one, I think. Or... I just missed this. And I know that it's hiding a loading screen and it's dumb. And it takes forever. But it's beautiful kind of dumb. Then I'm going to name the island. Because you can go to the island and do different things on there as opposed to the normal places around the the land here. There's also the island that you can go to. And the island is kind of cool in a number of different ways. Is that one, that's where you get coconuts. So every once in a while a coconut will uh, wash up on shore, but for the most part, you actually have to go there to get it. So we're going to go to the island of Moro. Yes, I'm that much of a dork. But now we get to listen to a sea shanty from the cap'n, and we get another one on the ride back. Yeah, so I used to go to the island every day just to listen to those, because I just love hearing the captain. Even though it's not really singing, it's just kind of like, you know, beep boop bop bop bop. It's like if R2-D2 were to sing, but not as harsh. Alright, so now we're on the island. Let's go hop out of the boat, and we'll take a walk around. There's only one inhabitant of the island. And that's this guy over here that we're about to meet. There he is. And he is Boomer. Now, Boomer reminds me of the character from Tales of the Golden Monkey, if you ever watched that. And I don't know how accurate that is, but that's just what he reminds me of. And he gets bored, and you can do stuff for him. <laughs> yeah, so he wants us to write in his notebook, and then 
will be better friends with him. Now the cool thing about this is that you can also, uh, when you leave the island, have it downloaded to your Game Boy Advance. And then what that does is it allows you to play on the island, and I use the word play very loosely. But essentially what you can do is you can uh, move a cursor around, uh, direct Boomer of where to go, you can take coconuts and give them to him, and then he will throw out bags of money. Now normally when he throws out bags of money, you can then go back the next day and get it. And then there's a hut here that has uh, a few shirts in it. They're kind of cool Hawaiian shirt type deals. And the only other thing really to do here is the flag. I mean, you can fish and you can pick up whatevers. Uh, but yeah, I just decided to... Nice arrow. Maybe I'll do something cooler later on, but... And then we get to hop on the boat with the captain, get another uh, sea shandy, and go back the other way. So yeah, here's it saying, do you want to put it in the Game Boy Advance? And you have to make sure to turn it on and have it not be in sleep mode. You know, the standard stuff. And it does take a while to do this. Turn off your Game Boy Advance, you'll lose your saved island. Dun dun dun. But yeah, and when you go back, if you've been giving Boomer like a lot of coconuts, he will drop like 10,000 bells at a shot, which is awesome. Song time. <laughs> Crossing combines two things that I like. Fishing and puns. And I wouldn't have thought that they could do that, but <laughs> they did. I caught sea bass. See? Bass! Which, funny to me. Alright, so this is the post office where you can mail letters, uh, deposit, which is paying off Tom Nook. They hadn't incorporated the bank system yet. You can also save letters for later on. So we're going to pay some on my loan that I got from Tom Nook to buy my house. Now, Pelly is here in the morning, and she is the nice one. The other one is not quite rude, but very, uh, abrupt. This game also supported the e-reader, and you could have used this here, hooking it up through the game, through the Game Boy Advance. You could have actually used it there and scanned items into the game every day, which was kind of cool. Um, it kind of broke the game later on, if I remember right. Oh, another pun. A barbell steed. Funny. Looks more like a fish than a horse. Alright, so I think I have uh, plucked a fair amount of weeds. Not nearly enough, but it is time to close the book on my triumphant return to Animal Crossing after 28 months. Um, we're going to go ahead and save here and see what critter we get to wish us farewell.
Ah, Olivia. Well, uh, that is it for this episode. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to make any comments, go ahead and drop a line below whether you want to see me wander around with a shovel, whether you actually want to see me do anything in this game, or if you just want me to constantly ride back and forth uh, with the cap and getting songs from him. Thank you very much, and uh, as always, play on!